Hi, this is Amma again from SSLTrust.com Australia and in this video I am going to be showing you how you can successfully install an SSL certificate on your website through the IIS 8 Web Server Manager. So let's get started. So this is the website hosted on our server that we're looking to secure. As you can see our connection to the site is not yet secure and we are going to make sure it is. So log in to your server, open IIS, click on your server, as you can see our website is currently hosted here so go to the main server so the first thing that we are going to do is generate a certificate sign in request or a CSR so we're going to click on server certificates under IIS and we're going to click on the create certificate request button on the top right and we're going to fill this out real quick so basically a CSR or customer sign in request is nothing but a request initiated by you the client to the certificate authority containing all necessary information such as the domain name and any business details which are stored in hashed form on the technical side it also contains the public key which will be signed by the certificate authority and return to you in the issued certificate so under common name type in your domain name here the name of your organization the organizational unit such as IT your city and your state or province and the two letter abbreviation for your country or you get selected from the drop down menu and click on next you will be using the Microsoft RSA cryptographic provider and let's set the bit length to 2048 for this video and we're going to click on next choose a su suitable output directory and let's say we need our parent website directory and let's call it server CSR as a text file and click on open once you're done with that click on finish now if you minimize this and navigate to that folder you'll now be able to see your certificate sign request now once we're done with this we can now move on to purchase and configure our SSL certificate okay so I'm here at the SSL Trust homepage and I'm going to move on to purchase and configure my SSL certificate. So choose your preferred SSL certificate from your favorite brand. Click on it. Scroll down. For this video we're going to be going with the cheapest one. The Commodore Sectico Positive SSL. Scroll down again. Choose your the duration of your certificate. Click on buy SSL. Scroll down, click on checkout, fill in your billing details and choose your preferred method of payment and click on complete order. I'm sure you'll, be, you'll easily find SSL certificates suited for all the needs. So once you're done with that, you can head over to the SSL Trust dashboard, click on your SSL certificate and start certificate configuration or you can provide this link to the appropriate person doing this for you. So now we are going to paste in our CSR. So scroll down, go to your server and copy this from the very start to the very end, including all the dashes and paste it there. Once you're done with that, scroll down and click on verify CSR. So if your details pop up just about right, then we're good to go. Select your server type. Click on next step. Fill in your admin details. Your email address.
and if you have a technical contact doing this for you uh, make sure to enter their appropriate details here or otherwise if you're the admin and you're doing this yourself use admin details and click on next step so now comes the important part of the process or domain control validation now you need to prove to the certificate authority which in this case is Sectigo that you have complete access to your domain name and you're the owner of it so there are three methods for validation the first one is the email method so you should have one of these five email addresses admin at the rate your domain name .com. you'll be sent once you click on submit configuration you'll be sent an email with a link which when you click on should validate your domain name and should uh, help you get your certificate the second method is the HTTP file method so basically you'll need to create these directories and create a text file with this name a text file and paste in these contents in that and wait for your server to propagate these details throughout the internet when you can check click on check file here and the third method that we're going to use is the CNN record validation method so what we're going to do is copy this go to your DNS provider or your DNS settings scroll down and add a record set the interface might be different depending on your service provider so paste your CNAME record here and the alias is gonna be this value here so copy it and oh it's gonna be CNAME record sorry and the alias is gonna be this address so paste it here and click on OK so once you're done with that head back to your configuration and you can click on the check DNS record button here click on search and your DNS record should propagate in a few minutes up to an hour depending on your DNS propagation speed or your hosting the quality of your hosting provider and you can uh, submit your configuration for now as you can see our configuration was a success this is our order number and our status is that we're awaiting validation you can click here to access the validation manager and as you can see our record has successfully propagated and we've been issued with our certificate in case your DNS records do not propagate this quick you can keep coming back here to the DNS checker website or you can come back here open this dialog box choose your preferred method of domain control validation and click on submit again this should refresh the record of your approval on the server end via at Sectigo so or if you're lost you can head back to the dashboard click click on your certificate and there'll be a button here where you can access the validation manager and all in all this is it so once you're done with that let's close this up and you can collect or download your certificate now click on this button and we're gonna download the format is gonna be a single PEM file containing all the certificates because this or a dot CR extension these are the two extensions accepted by the IS web server so click on download certificate let's save it on the desktop certificate of guides and click on save 
once you're done with that so let's upload it to our server copy it and let's paste it in our parent directory for our website paste it here once you're done with that we can now move on to install ISSL certificate so open your IS web server again go to your server click on it the home page and now you can click on server certificates again and you can click on the complete certificate request button on the top right choose the appropriate directory you've stored your certificate in change the extension if required select your certificate and click on open let's call it SSL guide friendly name and we're going to use it for web hosting and click on OK. Once you've completed your certificate request, we can now move on to add an HTTPS binding on our site. So click on the bindings button on the top right. Click on add binding. HTTPS. Type in your domain name here. Select your SSL certificate and click on OK. Once you're done with that, you can now head over to your site, click on the SSL settings under IIS, click on Require SSL, and you can ignore client certificates for now. Click on the apply button on the top right and just restart your server right here go to the home page click on restart and okay so now to check our installation we're going to type in our domain name with an https colon double slash your domain name dot com click on enter and as you can see our site is showing up and our connection to the site is now secure. We have successfully installed our SSL certificate on our IAS 8A web server. So what we can do now, one more thing that I should definitely mention is that in order to score an A on your SSL labs test, which ensures that you're following the best practices for implementing SSL on your site, we're gonna need to disable some older SSL protocols on the server. So how we're going to do that is we are going to command with the Windows and R button. Windows R, click on Run, and type in regedit here. Click on OK. This will open the registry editor. So what you will need to do is navigate to this very directory under local machine system control cell 001 control security providers s channel protocols then ssl 2.0 this might be different for your server so make sure you verify it before running the script which is available in the written guide in the description you can do that save that as a dot reg file and execute that to change the low level commands or you can do it manually by coming here and I'm going to show you just how to do that so we are going to add some protocols click on add new key TLS 1.0 add a new key again TLS 1.1 We're going to need to add client and server keys separately. So client and server. Same for TLS 1.1. Client server. 
So click on the client folder here and we're going to add a new D word 32 bit value, uh, which is going to be called disabled by default. Make sure to type in the capital letters correctly and um, modify this data. Click on this, click on modify and change it to one. What this will make sure is that these versions are disabled. The same you're going to do here on the server side too. Modify, change it to one. Same you can do here for client and server side on TLS 1.12. So disabled by default. Modify, change to one. Same for the server side. We're going to do the same here for SSL 3.02. So type in SSL 3.0 for the client and server. Okay, so once you're done with the registry editor, now you can restart the server for all the settings to take effect. And once this is done, your SSL installation is now complete. This was how easy it was to configure and install an SSL certificate on your website through the IS8 Web Services Manager. If you were easily able to install this certificate on your website, please like this video. If you've got any questions, please put them in the comments below and thanks for watching.